Welcome to EigenFi's MEV 2022 Annual Review. In this video, we'll take you on a fantastic trip into MEV, the hidden powerhouse of DeFi. During last year, MEV activities have contributed to an incredible half of DEX's total volume at $328 billion in 2022, making it a true game changer in the world of decentralized finance. Despite multiple crises caused by scams and scoundrels in the past year, the MEV has shown resilience, adaptability, and long-term potential, proving its ability to survive the most challenging environments. So take a deep breath and be prepared. Let's dive into the highlights of the MEV annual report and get ready to view the growth and perseverance of MEV performance through the lenses of bots, builders, DEXs, and trading volumes. Part 1. MEV Activities How did crises breed MEV opportunities? The overall transaction data shows a rising trend of total MEV counts each month. This reflects a steady increase in the opportunities for MEV searchers in the market, even after the fall in the ETH price since April. Typically, arbitrage opportunities were the most common, accounting for 68.3% of the market. Sandwich attacks followed, which are around 30.6%. Liquidation was smaller and more dependent on intense market fluctuation. The crisis in the DeFi market didn't curb MEV activities. Instead, MEV searchers and transactions became unprecedentedly active during danger times for the market. In a series of risk contagion events triggered by the Luna crash back in May and June 2022, we witnessed how smart traders generated new chances to make profits from a volatile market then, followed by the FTX collapse in November. Currently, MEV has become the secret engine of DeFi, generating approximately 49%, $328 billion, of the total volume, $666 billion, spawned on DEX for the year. Among all the $328 billion generated by MEV, sandwich transactions have contributed $287 billion with a percentage of 87.5%, which was significantly larger compared to the arbitrage's $41 billion volume. In 2022, Uniswap was the most popular DEX for MEV. Among all the protocols, Uniswap v3 arbitrage volume reached $19.4 billion, and its sandwich volume reached $53.4 billion. Part 2. MEV Prizes. How Players Carve Up the MEV Revenue In 2022, mainstream MEV bots generated at least $307 million revenue. May, June, and November, these three months involved in risk contagion, showing significant money-making effects for MEV bots. Among the total 307 million, about 47.5%, or 145 million, was seized by arbitrage. Sandwich bots gained 128 million, accounting for 41.7%. Although liquidation only accounts for the 1% of total MEV, it made 11% of the total revenue. MEV is a fierce battlefield, with over 2.7 thousand MEV bots vying for profits. Arbitrage bots were dominating the market, accounting for over 80% of total players. Bots competition is unsurprisingly like swimming with sharks, only the strongest survives. Many bots could not last more than one day, mainly used for testing. In general, arbitrage bots had a shorter lifetime, while 47.1% lasted less than 24 hours. Among those 2,000 arbitrage bots, only 11.9% made more than $10,000 in profits, while over 30% reported negative profits. Nearly half of the liquidation bots suffered a loss. The most profitable arbitrage bot, 0xbad, generated the highest profits of over $9.2 million, grabbing 12.3% of the total profits of arbitrage. Let's see how this bot crazily seized $3.2 million in one atomic transaction. It exploited two WETH WBTC liquidity pools at the cost of $2,057 during the Nomad Bridge exploit. After being hacked, this bad bot is gone for good. For liquidators, winning is much harder. Take a looking at the leaderboard, the top alpha has devoured 41.3% of total liquidation profits. The top sandwich bot also seized nearly 30% of the total profits, using over $362 million flash loans in its attacks. 
Sandwich attackers are the most generous tippers, constituting a major part of the extra incentive source. Among $128 million of revenue generated by sandwich bots, $73.9 million was paid as a bribe to builders. The resulting MEV rewards paid to builders during 2022 are over $133 million. Part 3, MEV Redistribution. How the merge changed block builders' MEV revenue on Ethereum. The merge impacted the MEV rewards allocation. Contribution from Sandwich increased, while both arbitrage and liquidation transactions paid less. However, be it a miner or builder, gone oligarchs never. The top 10 addresses generating the most MEV revenue, previously dominated by POW mining pools, have now shifted to new block builders. Despite the shift, the top two addresses still received a significant percentage of rewards, indicating an unchanged oligopoly pattern. Part 4. Best Chain for MEV. Where is more cost-effective for searchers? BNB Smart Chain offers more cost-effective opportunities than Ethereum. The average arbitrage cost of revenue ratio on BSC is much lower. The overall arbitrage revenue on BSC is $95 million in 2022. Even it's smaller than Ethereum's $146 million. The total profit on BSC is larger than Ethereum, $90 million to $75 million. Bots on BSC face less intense competition compared to Ethereum. The top 8 arbitrage bots on the BSC generate 21% of the total profit. On Ethereum, the number is 47%. Newcomers are more likely to find a welcoming environment to explore the BSC chain. Part 5. MEV in 2023. Democratization and Diversification. Next, democratization and diversification will become the main theme of MEV. Order flow auction, MEV redistribution, more JIT bots, and statistical arbitrage market makers will emerge and expand the horizon of MEV in 2023. Want to hop in and grab a piece of the cake? You can start by check out the real-time MEV data on eigenfi.io, or use our APIs at eigenapi.io. Don't forget to download the MEV 2022 report, and follow us on Twitter at eigenfi.